I think it's been over three years now since I first started using AI tools to make money online. And I still see there's a lot of opportunities out there, but just don't have the time to execute on all my ideas. So instead of doing that, I thought we can just make a YouTube series out of it. So today is going to be the first episode and we're going to start with something that is quite easy to do, especially now with the new ChatGPT code interpreter, and that is going to be collecting data. Data is going to be very important going forward, and I think there's a lot of opportunity here. So we're just going to go through some quick examples of things you can implement today. So let's just get started. Just before we get into it, I just wanted to showcase some kind of data here because uh, there's a lot of uh, scams out there. And I don't want to be associated with uh, anything like that. Uh, this is just going to be real use cases I have done myself and ideas I have that I think could work. So you can see we have some revenue last three days, $70. It's not crazy much, but it's very passive. And yeah, you can see June earnings, uh, $1,400. Uh, I would say this is, I didn't work hard for this, but it's just over time, use some AI tools and yeah, just plot it along and it's quite easy money as it's set up now. Just wanted to show you this, so yeah. But now let's get into the data collection part. Okay, so we're just gonna start over here on Upwork and you can see if we search for data scraping, we can find 3,800 jobs. If we search for like data mining or data analysis, we can find even more. So I just grabbed a random job here. This is just web scraping. Extract information from a targeted website and save it in a CSV file. And this is not well paid, it's just $15. It's a one-time project. But this shouldn't take you longer than five, maybe 10 minutes. And then you can say like if you times that by six, it's a decent salary, right? So if we head over to your code interpreter, you can see I have the prompt here. You are a data scientist and Python expert. Your task is to read the HTML file the user uploaded. Okay, so we need to upload a HTML file. Then I just go here. Over at Glassdoor, we have different kind of job postings here. Let's say the job was to extract the... Um, the salary, employer esti estimated salary, and uh, title, and let's say the company. So what we want to do here is just right click and save this page as an HTML file. And just click save, right? Then we head back to ChatGPT code interpreter and upload that HTML file we just saved, right? And then we're going to extract the job position and the salary and maybe the job position company and the sa salary, right? Take this data into a table in a CSV file and export it. Here are the elements where you can find this info. So let's start by job posting. Then we're just gonna go back to the web page here and we're gonna right click on the AI engineer here. We can start here, right click, go to inspect. And you can see when I highlight this element here, you can see this lights up. So we're going to use that. You can see it says AI software engineer in here. So let's right click on that. Just keep copy element, head back to code interpreter and paste in that. Then we can do company. All right. Head back to this site. Click on service now, inspect. And you can see here we find the class for the, the company. So let's copy that, copy element. Okay. And finally, we're going to do salary. Just going to do the same here. Just click on the salary, inspect, and we can find the class here. Yeah. Copy element, head back to the code interpreter and paste this. Okay, so there we are basically ready. But if in case we don't get any result, we just want to go... In case the job posting don't have a salary, return null data because we don't want to taking salaries from other job postings, right? Let's think about this and complete this in a step-by-step -step way. Okay, so let's try that. Here you can see we have some quite good results here. So we have our table. So here is the five first row. We have job title, we have the company, we have the salary. So you can see for the two first ones, there were no salary. We just got null data. And here we have exactly the expected salary for this kind of job so we can also add some special things to this maybe this could land you a job if we add some visualizations so let's do that so let's go create some interesting relevant visualizations of the data okay so we didn't get the most interesting visualization but i think this one was quite okay so we have average salary here on the x-axis we have number of job postings here so you can see we have four job postings that is around 100k 
we have one posting that's up to 260k. And I just thought it was kind of nice. You can just save this and add it with your application to get the job. So that could give you some extra credit to actually landing the job right. So very simple, very quick. And this prompt you can use over and over again for kind of the same job. So you can almost always make this like, you know, to a semi automation, right? Uh, let's take a look at an uh, other example I did earlier today. Uh, you can see here we have basically on Amazon, we just search for doorbell camera wireless. This is a lot of jobs that show up collect and scrape prices from let's say, Amazon. This could be other uh, e-commerce sites and stuff, right? So we just basically did the same here. If I scroll up here now, you can see extract the name of all the product and prices. So we just did the same. We found the elements for product. We found the elements for price. And in case price of product is missing, leave it as a null data. And yeah, we just went through all of this, right? And we ended up with um, a nice format here I'm gonna show you. And here we have the list, very simple but very helpful. So you can see we have the product name and we have the price. Of course, maybe you want this in dollar, but this is a really easy way to do it. We just extracted all the prices here and the names. This took five minutes to do, very easy. So yeah, I think this is... Uh, a good way to make some money if you just wanted to start off easy and not do the most complicated thing. I think everyone, if you just spend some time here on the code interpreter, can learn to do this. I think that was it we had for today. Uh, I have a lot of other episodes we are going to create for this series. And yeah, follow along and I'll see you in the next one.